Welcome to another session with Miss Taylor. This is another stoichiometry example, one that you usually don't see because most of the time we're trying to find how much limiting reactant is there, how much excess reactant we have. In this one, I'm showing you how that if you know any one specific amount in an equation, you can use that to stoic to anything else. So in our question, we say that we want to make 10 grams of copper solid. So we want to know how much of each reactant do we actually need and how much of the other product will be made. Now, before we can do anything, of course, we need a balanced chemical equation. So we're going to need a 2 there, a 3 there, and a 3 there. All right, from here, it's pretty much simple stoic. We're going to start from 10 grams of our copper. And, of course, the only place we can go from grams is to moles. So we're going to need 63.546 grams of copper on bottom to one mole because that's the molar mass of copper. And then we use our mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation to get us from moles of given to moles of desired. So we're going to put three moles of copper on bottom and two moles of aluminum on top. I'm just doing aluminum first because it's the first reactant. And then, so we have moles of aluminum, but we can't directly measure moles in the lab. We have to measure things in grams. So we need to convert that to grams. So one mole of aluminum has a mass of 26.9815 grams. So if you plug that into your calculator correctly and round that to the four sig figs given, hopefully you got 2.8 one grams of aluminum needed. Okay, you've got another reactant though, so we're going to stoic again from 10 grams of copper. Same first step because we have to convert the moles of copper to gram, or excuse me, to convert the grams of copper to moles of copper. All right, three moles of copper from our balanced chemical equation to three moles of copper 2 sulfate. And yes, that will reduce to 1 over 1. If you want to reduce it before you do the math, that's fine. If you don't, it will wash out either way. And then 1 mole of copper 2 sulfate has a mass of 159.612 grams. For the sake of time, I looked all those up already. All right, so if you plug that into your calculator correctly, hopefully you got 25.12 grams of copper 2 sulfate. All right, and then the last part of the question was how much of the other product would also be made. So again, you're stoking from your given. and three moles of copper on bottom and one mole of aluminum sulfate on top. And then we're going to convert from moles to grams. And the molar mass of aluminum sulfate is 342.161 grams. And I'm just going to abbreviate AS because I'm running out of space. And rounding that to four sig figs, you got 17.95 grams of Al2 parentheses SO4 parentheses 3. And there you have it. From one known to all the other unknowns. And if you wanted to just go back and check to see if this stoic backwards, you could take the amount of aluminum you got and you would be able to stoic the other way and you would have gotten 10 grams of copper and 25.12 grams of copper 2 sulfate and 17.95 grams of aluminum sulfate. Enjoy!